the hell are you doing? What? He just challenged us. We can't back down now. We the new black. So, Craig? <sighs> you can't ball. Now you ask? Craig, I thought you had more game than me. You have no excuse. You're 100% black. I didn't have hoop dreams, okay? My name is John Simmons, and this is my Behind the Scene. A DP is responsible for the look of the show, basically. Um, my job entails reading the script, talking to the director and the producers, and the art director, and designing the look of a show. Uh, so I'm responsible for the visual interpretation of what's on the page. My job is very important to making films because it's my responsibility to show you what you're supposed to see. I do all the camera work. I create the looks. So if it's morning, I give you morning. If it's afternoon, we give you afternoon. We also make lens selections that uh, also aid in interpreting the uh, dramatic content of the story, whether it's going to be a long lens and compress the background or a wide lens and incorporate the background. Those are decisions that are usually made by a director of photography or a cinematographer. I have to be able to understand lighting. I have to be able to know what light and shadow does. I have to be uh, uh, knowledgeable technically of the equipment that I'm using, you know. And I have to be able to hire people that are knowledgeable, um, that I can delegate responsibility to. But on the other hand, I have another responsibility. And the other responsibility that I have is that my becoming a director of photography or cinematographer was a difficult climb. And it was a difficult climb because it was within a racist environment. And you didn't see any black cinematographers. You didn't see any black people on crews when I first started. It was very difficult. And one of my responsibilities is to make sure that my crews represent society as a whole. I want my crews to look like what we see when we walk out onto the street. And what that means is sometimes I may have to hire people that may have to come into my job with a certain amount of skill. And we just have to take the weight of teaching them and bringing them up to speed. Because if I don't do that, I don't know who does it. So the responsibility is not only one of making a TV show, but it's also one of making sure that women are represented, making sure that anybody is represented within our crews. It's because you can walk onto these lots and it doesn't look like that. I started as a still photographer and I received a scholarship to Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. And while I was there, um, a man named Carlton Moss, who is a director, a historian, and a writer. He's well known for the Negro Soldier, which was part of the Robert Capra's Why We Fight series. And um, it's funny, he used to be a PA for Oscar Michaud. So he's a very interesting man. And he would come to Nashville, Tennessee twice a month and stay for two days and do uh, a lecture on the image of the black man in American cinema. And from that grew a little film course where we would make Super 8 films. And he also looked at my still photographs one day and said I was a cinematographer. He said, you have the eye of a cinematographer. I had no idea what that meant. It was uncomfortable for me as while I was becoming a cinematographer and while I was a camera assistant. I'd walk into an environment and would feel like this is not a place where I really belong. But I'm gonna get through this. <laughs> My very first day as a PA, I was working for a company that were very, they were very politically conscious. Cesar Chavez was having his farm worker strike and 
These people would not let grapes be on the set as long as Cesar Chavez was protesting. But what they didn't know was that they had a crew out in the parking lot, a 40-foot truck. It's my very first day at work. And I walk onto that truck, and what I see is I see a grip box. A grip box is a box that sits on the truck and has all the equipment in it. And on this grip box was every stereotypical derogatory image of any kind of minority you might look for, whether it was black, Chinese, Mexican, whatever. It was a nasty picture up there. And I called my mentor, Carlton, and I said, Carlton, I don't know about this job that you got me. He says, what's the problem? I said, well, they have a picture of Martin Luther King sitting in a watermelon patch dressed with a diaper on, drinking a bottle of ink, and Cesar Chavez carrying a donkey under a barbed wire fence. I said, it's a little racist in here, Carlton. He says, Simmons, do you want to be a cinematographer? I said, yeah, I do. He said, do you know any black people making movies right now? I said, no. Click. <laughs> so that was how I dealt with it. And it didn't go away. It didn't go away for a long time. It, pro it didn't go away until my hair started turning gray. <laughs> that people might still ask me, may I help you? And I'm actually the guy in charge. The challenges vary. I mean, it depends. You know, they come with the territory. Uh, a lot of my challenges could be technical, they could be time, or they could be money. They're not obstacles. I don't have obstacles. You know what I have? I have opportunities. All my obstacles are opportunities. I kind of feel like there's no such thing as a bad day on a film set. Either I learn something new, or I learn something never to do again. The whole thing, and being a cinematographer for me, is being an artist. So the whole pursuit is illogical anyway. It's one that's motivated by passion. And it's the passion of being able to put something within those four corners and to be able to paint something that has an effect on someone. That's what I want to be able to do. And that passion was greater than the obstacles that I was confronted with. What I like best about my job is it's just so much fun to be able to do something new every day. I love the idea of being able to tell a story with pictures and get paid for it. And I like the idea of it being a creative pursuit. And I've been an artist all my life and I like the collaboration that happens between people in order to make it happen. I like the power of the image.